Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how to remove hijackers from your private label listings on Amazon. I've been selling my own brands of products on Amazon since 2013 and I've removed hundreds of hijackers from my listings in this time. I know how annoying they can be. So in this video, I'm going to show you an exact email template that I use to send out to hijackers as soon as I spot them on my Amazon listing. I'll show you exactly how you can input your information into my email templates and get these hijackers removed off your listing, sometimes within as little as one or two hours. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to jump over to Amazon and show you exactly what I would do to remove hijackers. So I'm just going to go to Amazon.co.uk for this example. And then I'm going to go ahead and find a product and pretend that that product is mine and show you exactly how I would get a hijacker removed from my listing. So I'm just going to pick one of these yoga mats. I'm going to pretend that it's a yoga mat that I sell and then scroll down and we could just click in on this one because it has two different sellers so I'm just going to click on this so for this example we're going to pretend that I am XN8 sports this is my store I'm selling using FBA as you can see prime but someone has came along and listed the product my product for sale under their listing so as we can see we're going to pretend that m19 traders has gone and done this so m19 traders is the hijacker for this example so i'm just going to click through on them and as we can see here this is all their stores information but what you want to do is go up and click on ask a question and then when you get in here I always go to an order that I have placed and then you just click to select a subject and I usually click on received wrong item again this will just give them a notification that a customer has claimed that they've received a wrong item even that you may not have even purchased this product off them I would still go ahead and click this as this will catch their attention so click received wrong item and then click write message so then here we just have to enter our message so for this part I go over to the internet biz uni blog and I just go and get the blog post that I wrote it on this so I'm just going to click blog but again I'm going to put a link to this in the description so you won't have to go over to the blog and click this Hi, Jacker. So this is the blog post that I created um, that gives you the letters to send to the hijackers to remove them. So I'm just going to scroll down here. This is more information about it, but I'm just going to scroll down here and this will show you exactly uh, how I send them. So I just send an email to the hijacker and this is the first email that I send them. So I'm just going to go and copy email number one and then paste it over in here. Then all you have to do here is just fill in your information here. Like so. James, the director of company. And you just enter in your company's name here. So this example, I'm just going to write James LTD. And the intellectual property owner off. And then you want to put in your brand name. So for this product I'm just going to scroll back here and see it's XN8 sports so I'm going to jump back just put in the brand name here as XN8 sport and then again down here paste and then see here where I 
have in brackets insert link to your product and the listing so what you want to do is go over to your product here and this is the page that shows that they have listed your product for sale so you want to just copy this link because a lot of these hijackers what they do is they hijack a lot of listings at once so even if you give them your product details and that they won't know which product it is or anything like that so you're better off making that as simple as possible as clear as possible uh, which product listings you are on about so I'm just going to copy this link so when they click on this link it's going to bring them to this page they can see that I have the product listed for sale and they can also see that they have the product listed for sale so go back to the message and then just paste it in here so as I said they can easily click on this link and they will see exactly the listing that you were on about and then you just enter in just fill out the rest of the details here so down here you just enter in your brand name again and again here again this is very simple you just enter in your brand name where it says brand name in brackets and you enter in your company name where it says company name in brackets Okay, so we're going to scroll down and as you can see that's it that's the message they're going to get so the message is going to read hi I am James director of James limited an intellectual property owner of the brand XN8 sport I see that you have listed brand XN8 sport product for sale and then I give the link to the exact listing which shows them exactly the product that I'm talking about and then it says can you show me a receipt uh, for your purchase of this item and then it goes on to say we do not sell brand x and eight sports products to any resellers and we think that you may be selling counterfeit items again this will just uh, alert them that you are taking this matter very serious and that you think that they may be selling counterfeit items uh, please reply with a receipt that proves that you have purchased brand x and eight sport products from James Limited the intellectual property owner or remove your listing for this product I will be contacting Amazon fraud team about this issue if you do not if I do not receive a response within 12 hours so again this is just shown that I'm taking it very seriously and they usually remove it after I send this email to them a high percentage of the time uh, they remove their listing straight after this email but if they don't I'm just going to jump back over to the blog post and again I'm going to leave a link to this blog post uh, below this video so you can easily find it and just copy and paste this template email in and just change it about as you require it so for email 2 this is just a follow-up one in case they don't take your first email serious don't remove their listing you will just write to them hello as you have ignored my earlier request I've contacted my Amazon rep about this issue and he is currently investigating it so again if you have an Amazon rep you can contact them directly if you don't just uh, contact the Amazon team that deal with uh, listings so again just going into contact inside seller central to contact Amazon and then just contacting them about a listing violation and again you will just have to explain what the violation is and then you will write uh, if you have purchased this item from and then put in your company name again um, then it is a second item and it should it is a second hand item and it should not be listed as new if it was purchased from an, any other source then it is not authentic and it is infringing our intellectual property please note any further correspondence between us will be recorded and may be used to back up my claims so as you can see this is a very simple template which clearly states exactly uh, where you stand on the issue and that you're taking it very seriously but there is no need to write email two unless uh, email one is ignored so if you are first responding to the hijacker I would advise you to respond using email template number one and then if they don't pay any heed to this then go down and send them email number two as well 
as well as contacting Amazon about this issue. So I'm going to jump back now and then all you do is click send email and the email will be sent to them and it will be sent under the heading of received wrong item so they will read it and take it seriously. I hope that you have found this video extremely helpful. I know how annoying it can be trying to remove hijackers from your listing but this email template is the best one that I've found for removing hijackers as quickly as possible. And I will leave a link in the description below which will bring you to the blog post that I showed you in this video. As well as this, I will leave a link below to my two courses. One is the Unique Private Label course which shows you how to create unique private label products on Amazon that literally have no competition on Amazon as well as the advanced private label course which will show you how to grow your sales and profit if you already have a brand of products that you're selling on Amazon. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.